Hey, how's it going guys? Today we are taking a look at a frame arms kit. Now we've taken a look at quite a few frame arms girls, but it's been a while since we've taken a look at an actual frame arms robot kit. So here today we have the Vulture RE. This is just the updated version. The RE version means that it just has the updated frame. It's just a little bit nicer for the architect frame there in there for this. Now the Vulture is pretty unique in that it actually is one of the few frame arms kits that has a transformation. Although it's a kind of goofy looking transformation, we'll talk more about that here shortly, but it does transform, but it's pretty cool just looking mech suit here. It almost has some similarities, especially maybe just like in the head. It just kind of reminds me of something from Zone of the Enders. I don't know, just like the face, the head design just kind of reminds me of that. But it's a pretty cool design, so let's check it out. I think there's also a different, a couple, like one or two different variation versions of the Vulture as well, but I think the Vulture was the original version. Anyway, around here on the sides, we've just got the same thing here. This is number 28 in the frame arms line. Go around here to the bottom of the box. So you can see just front and rear view of how that's gonna look. And this is kind of its like signature pose. We often see it pictured in this pose here with the arms crossed like that. It's got this big sword that it carries on its back. The gimmick there, how it's got this fighting pose. Well, poses very nicely, of course. And then it transforms into this bird thing basically by uh, the arms of the legs become the wings and then like the arms become the legs and it's just kind of posed upside down and it makes it into a bird so there you go and here's how it's gonna look just uh, unpainted straight out of the box and as you can see it really doesn't look all that different it's missing a couple tiny little things but even as is just straight out of the box it's gonna be looking pretty cool and on the other side of the box there's nothing really too much to see here except the list price of 3800 yen so it's not all that expensive these are, in terms of size, a little bit larger than your standard HG usually. And I think this one is going to be a little bit taller as well just because it's kind of got a little bit long legs there. Uh, so it's going to be probably somewhere around the size of a small MG or a large HG if you're comparing it to something from the Gunpla, of course. Alright, let's open it up here. And as with a lot of the frame arms kits, we've got this kind of inner box here. It doesn't really serve any purpose at all. It seems like just kind of a waste. but. For whatever reason, we've got this inner box with a few of the runners there, basically just so you can see kind of just the different color runners molded in through that window on the front of the box. We've got our architect frame here, sort of pre-built. And then this inner box, again, it all seems kind of pointless extra packaging, but okay. Otherwise, these boxes could be a lot smaller, I think, because there's not really a lot of runners in here. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty slim, it's nothing really too much. We do have our uh, manual here. I <laughs> lost my train of thought for a second because I was thinking uh, just at the moment that it's a shame that more of these don't come with water side decals because it would be cool to just have some nice water side decals. Even just a, a few markings or something for this would be nice, but unfortunately not the case. So, anyway, here we have the instructions. And once again, there's that crossed arm pose in the back. You can see the flight form or the vulture form or whatever, whatever you would call that, I guess. And then it's just some cool imagery there. On the back, it looks like well, we have the original illustration. So there you go. That's pretty cool. If you've got a scanner and you want to do some custom color schemes for this, you can scan that, put it into Photoshop, you know, test out some different colors. It's a good reference for that. I'm sure you can probably find scans of this online somewhere if you look hard enough. We have our color guide here as well. It's all in Japanese, but you can translate that easy enough if you're so inclined. Well, opening up to the center page, we've got some more illustrations here, just a colorized version of the illustrations. And then looks like here about the sword. The sword can be made into a square. That's kind of interesting. I guess you could then like throw that or just, I don't know how you're really supposed to use that as a square, but it can be folded into a square. The equipment, the transformation there once again about the legs. It's got like this kind of blade there folded in the back of the legs. It's got these sort of claw weapons there on the forearms. And then just like the sword, I guess, can be just used as like a kind of whip, sort of like loose sword kind of thing, I guess, if you wanted to go for that. And here's how the cockpit looks. Cool illustration of that. All right, going back to the front page, we've got our parts list there. As you can see, yeah, it's pretty minimal. Not a whole lot of runners with this kit. We've got just taking apart the uh, architect frame and just building the construction of this. And I'm, just, I'm thinking the construction for this guy is not gonna take all that long. It should go together pretty quickly. Let's get into the runners. All right, so let's get into it here. Starting off with PCA, we've just got a few polycaps here in black. And then runner A is in this medium gray color. We've got some parts there for the face, some kind of joint kind of parts like that, and then parts for the sword. And the runner marking on this just says Vulture. Runner B in this nice purple color here, some more of the armor parts. And then runner C, some more purple parts here, including these parts there for like the feathery bits on the legs, some nice detail molded into those. We've got two of the C runner. 
Runner D going to be all of our clear blue parts on there looking very nice. Runner E is in this light kind of salmon pink color, it's looking really cool. Runner F is a few more parts here in pink, we've got two of this F runner. And then finally runner V here, this would just be the generic frame arms hand runner. We've got a few different hand options there, basically I think just closed fists, holding hands, and uh, just some open kind of expressive hands, that's pretty much it. But the cool thing about this runner is that it's molded in a kind of metallic silver color plastic, so that's kind of interesting. I think that is just about going to do it for the unboxing. Guys, as always, a huge thank you to us at Gunham Store for their support in uh, sponsoring this review. Do check the link to their site down below and check out the different Codebookia stuff that they have there on their site. They've got some on there that you guys can check out and everything on there, Codebookia, Bandai, and all of that, you can save 10% using my coupon code there, Zacharelius10. So check the link down below to their site and thank you for your support, guys. Uh, pretty simple kit. I think this is going to go together pretty simply and it's definitely one of the cheapest in the frame arms line as well. So if you're interested in checking the frame arms line out, if you've never built one before, this could be a good option for you just to kind of test the waters. So we'll see how it is. Uh, I'll let you guys know in the review coming up next. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.